Would you like to make 10K a month as a student or broke person? What about 100K? 1 million? 10 million? 100 billion? Who wouldn't, right? Absolutely everyone wants to know how to make more money. And then come in the YouTube BS and scammers. Trading, dropshipping, ad agencies, crypto, real estate, some other convoluted AI complicated automated nonsense. It's misinformation. Lots of it out there. Lots of people making it seem a lot easier than it actually is. So in today's video, I'm going to break down to you exactly what to do in order to get paid 10k. A heads up, if you're not actually serious about solving this in your life and you are unwilling to be humble and understand that you are missing something, you don't know something, if you're not willing to learn or put any kind of work, I can tell you right now this is not for you. There is no such thing as succeeding in anything without putting in work. It just doesn't exist. If that's you, go watch something else. Now for the other group, for people actually willing to put in work and to solving their problem, Let's get started. Making money. There is no making money. You're not a fed. You're not a bank. You get paid. Getting paid is someone giving you money. So the question is, how are you going to get paid today and who is paying you? In two ways. You rob them, so out of fear, they give you money. The service you provide is not beating the crap out of them. Give me your money or I'll beat you up. This worked well for the mafia. Or for most people, you provide a service or a product. You want coffee, you give them coffee, they pay you in return. You with me? It's an exchange. So the next step is, what is it that you are going to give people so you can get paid? What is the right vehicle for you to work on that you can get paid your 10K? Enter the YouTube fast marketing BS and where the shining object syndrome kicks in. Just stop. What you do and what I have done that has worked well for me is answering the following question. What do wealthy people do and have been doing historically over and over again countless generations where one, they get money, two, with little to no upfront costs. Interested? Here's the answer for you. They raise it. That's right. The number one activity, the wealthiest of the wealthiest, specifically in investment banking, what we do on a consistent basis is raising capital. Now you ask me, what is raising capital? Raising capital is the process of obtaining funds from investors to an investment fund managed by an investment firm. The fund pulls money from multiple investors looking to get paid a return on their money. There are investors interested in the equities market like the S&P 500 or any other stock. There are investors interested in the bond market. There are investors interested in private equity, real estate, venture capital. There are all sorts of funds that cater to different interests investors have. So investment management companies sell units of participation in the fund that the investor is interested in. Investors invest in the funds, we get paid. Variations of this concept within the financial sector, but where your job is similar is selling insurance or credit, like mortgages when people are looking to buy a home. In all cases, there is no counterparty risk. It's an investment fund, an insurance company or a bank, they are paying you. Okay, so now we have the vehicle. We are in the investment banking sector. So how do you get paid 10K? Funds pay you 3% of the total raised capital. You get someone with at least 100k to invest in our fund, you get paid 3% immediately. One person with 400k or four people with 100k each just received 12k. That's it. 1 million, 100 million, 10 billion, you get paid 3%. Your job is the same. Get it? So now the question is, who is going to invest in the fund? Who can you talk to today? What is that person's name? What is that person's phone number? Can you name one person that has at least 100k? One? That's your job. Millions of people have way more than 100k and they are actively looking to get better returns on their money. They don't want their money in a bank account earning nothing. 
Investors know that their money needs to be earning more than at least the current inflation rate. They want to put their money to use, but they don't know how to do it. So they rather open an investment account with an investment fund. I know what you might be thinking. What about scams and ponzi's and bank runs and all that stuff? This is where the regulators come in. This is where the SEC, where the auditors come in. In the US, there's the SEC, the Securities and Exchange Commission. In Portugal, there is the CMVM. They are both the enforcers. Funds in Portugal are audited twice a year. Twice. All auditing firms are here. You can go to the CMVM and all auditing companies, ask them for a background check of the investment management company. They will give you all the information for free. What you find is that it is not about the investment management company. It is not about the investors. In most cases, it is about you. It is about you having limiting beliefs about money. It's about you not knowing what to say and how to present to people you know so they can make an informed decision. This is why all people that work with us, all bar none, go through intensive training so they can be up to speed to what to say and how to present our services. So you wanted to know how to get paid 10k, I have just explained this to you. One, you learn how to properly present the investment funds. Two, you raise capital to the investment funds. That's it. You go talk to someone that has money, ask them what they want, get them what they want and you get paid. If you're having second thoughts, just go back to whatever it is that you were doing before. Go back to the dorky, drop shipping, AI, chat GPT, convoluted stuff. Now, if this is for you, get us the person, our lawyers, compliance team and fund managers will all be at the call to help onboard the clients and you get paid. Keep it simple.